It's either going to be the most, it's not going to be the most interesting. This is either going to be an incredibly boring video or that's the only option. Hello everybody. Welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the girl and uh, we're doing something a little special today on my channel where I should say a little bit different from what we usually do. I thought it would be fun if we tried out some spooky snacks, some fall related snacks. I think, um, you know, we always go to stores, we always see all of the pumpkin spice stuff, all of the fall flavored stuff. And um, oftentimes I wonder, man, is that any good? <laughs> I don't know. So I thought maybe I would just go ahead and try for myself and maybe let you all know what I thought about these particular snacks. And um, could be we will do this for a bunch of other stores and a bunch of other places. We will see. But I thought a good place to start would be Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. I know a lot of you out there love Trader Joe's. Um, and boy, oh boy, do they have all of the spooky and fall related snacks in there. Um, we were quite, quite blown away by that. So I thought I would go ahead and we would try some of the snacks now, and then we'll try some of the snacks later. My parents have been staying with me the past couple days, so we have people to help us out trying out all of these snacks. Um, it's gonna be a whole thing. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. Again, a little bit different from what I usually do here on the channel, but this is a whole entire channel, so if you aren't subscribed yet and you want to subscribe, I sure do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you all the Trader Joe's shopping experience here, and then we'll get into trying the snacks. And here we are, Trader Joe's gonna head on inside and grab us some snacks. Halloween Jojo cookies, chocolate pumpkin face cookies, Signature vanilla bean cream. I'm grabbing these. Pumpkin trees. Actually a pepper, but they look like pumpkins. That's cute. Organic fall zucchetti pasta. Butternut squash. That looks pretty good. Maybe. They have a caramel apple dipping kit. It includes caramel peanut sprinkles and six sticks and they got some apples right below it too. I think I might pass on that one but it does sound very good. And how cute is this fall of fantasy pumpkins? It is definitely giving me my fall fantasy. Oh, Petey's pumpkin patch. That is so cute. We are in St. Petersburg right now. 89 cents. Cute. Oh, look at all of the pumpkins, the gourds. So cool. I like the weird ones. Yeah. Both all like the warts Ball and fantasy weird pumpkins. discoloration. Oh, speckled speckled swan gourds. Those are bananas looking. And I don't mean those bananas. <laughs> that is interesting. And look how cute this is. You can actually buy these. Felted sunflowers. Cute. They have a yellow one and they have an orange one. And they do also have their own cinnamon brooms. If I knew that, I would have waited to grab a Trader Joe's cinnamon broom. Dang. Got some spiced cider in here too, as well as some pumpkin bread and muffin mix. That also sounds delicious. Serve, serve hot or cold. Look at that, even Bella and Daisy can get in on our snack tasting. Pumpkin maple, ma bleh, pumpkin maple bacon flavored dog. <laughs> In their beauty department, they also have a, a few things in here. A pumpkin overnight face mask. I gotta tell you, that sounds amazing and also possibly delicious, but you probably shouldn't, probably shouldn't eat it. Oh, and they have candles in here too. Vanilla pumpkin, honey crisp apple down there. Ooh, they have hand soap and hand lotion. Maple pecan granola, organic pumpkin spice granola bark, pumpkin pecan instant oatmeal. Ooh. Pumpkin O's. Pumpkin spice coffee. Autumn maple coffee. Also have some teas in here. Harvest blend herbal tea. Pumpkin spice Rubio's tea. Pumpkin biscotti as well. Sounds kind of good. They have a pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, holy moly. That sounds really, really good. Holy moly. Pumpkin ginger ice cream cones. Eight mini gingery cones filled with pumpkin ice cream and white confectionery coating. Oh my goodness. 
That sounds so good. And looks like we have some salted maple ice cream in here and also pumpkin ice cream. Oh yeah, Halloween haunting. How cute. Got a bunch of stuff over on this end cap here. Pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. Crispy peanut butter. I don't think this is just a, a full thing. We've had these before. These are super, super good. Pumpkin uh, bars. That looks yummy. Oh, pumpkin seeds, of course. Ooh, they have gummies. Have spooky, bats spooky bats and cats. And cats. <gasps> How cute. Ooh. Oh my gosh, those are too cute to eat. <laughs> Ghosts and bats, crispy potato snacks. Pumpkin yeah. brioche yeah. twist bread. Oh my goodness. Pumpkin blondie brownies. Oh, that sounds like the most delicious thing I've ever heard of in my life. With white chocolate chips and pecans. Okay, it's at a point where we're gonna have to start picking and choosing because there's there'd be way too many snacks if we got absolutely everything. Check this out. Gluten-free pumpkin streusel muffins sound really good. There's also some Madeline cookies, pumpkin spice Madeline cookies. Apple cider donuts, oh boy. Harvest chocolate collection here. Look how cute that is. White milk and dark chocolate confections and assorted fall shapes. It's adorable. Skin style hot cocoa melts. That is cute. Yeah, I'm gonna ship little pumpkins. Pumpkin spice covered JoJo's. Pumpkin spice batons. Petite pumpkin spice cookies. Oh my gosh, we are in so much trouble. I am in way over my head here. And they do have a gingerbread cookie kit here. Haunted house. It's in my mouth. It's adorable. Pumpkin butter. You said you had the pumpkin butter and it's really good. On the cranberry crisp. On the cranberry crisp. Oh man. Yeah, like yeah that sounds really good. Lots of stuff to make uh, baking wise. We saw the cookie mix, the muffin mix. There's also this pumpkin bread and muffin mix. And they do have a uh, pumpkin waffle pancake mix over here too. Chocolate mousse pumpkins, velvety chocolate cake, chocolate cake, wow I cannot talk. Chocolate cakes layered with silky mousse. Everything seems to be a dessert sort of thing. I know those look so good too. And I forgot to mention this but we did leave the store. Yeah. We left the store. Also we went to a baseball game today that's why we're all raised up a little they, bit more than won. usual. Um, but yeah, we're heading home. The groceries are in the back here, and then yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be tasting the snacks at uh, some point here. This is uh, this is something that we did pick up at Trader Joe's. It's not a pumpkin snack, but it's just their uh, their plantain chips. They're pretty good. Yeah. So here we go. We have one full bag full of Trader Joe's snacks and two full bags full of Trader Joe's snacks. I put some of it in the fridge. There wasn't too many refrigeratables. Um, and two puppies. And two puppies, Daisy and Bella here, yep. You guys ready to help us try the snacks? Oh, they're ready. Oh, they're ready. They know the word snacks. Legitimately though, we did buy some dog treats, the pumpkin maple bacon flavored Stuffy's dog treats and honestly it was the little dog in the pumpkin that sent me that made me uh, decide to go ahead and grab these and uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and bust them open and we'll let the dogs try these oh, I don't think we're gonna man. if you want to try it Tampa Jay that is all up to you This is gonna be a whole other video if you you know what if you Tampa Jay eats dog treats will be the title let's, of the video Let's keep that in the past. Okay. I was gonna give it another go, but it's probably uh, gonna be the same result this time Okay, who's up? All right, get you ready. first. All right, and we're off. Here you go, Daisy. Take it. Careful. Okay. I'm not going to lie, it smells pretty good. I'm sure it does. It's got to be good. It's Trader Joe's, right? Pumpkin okay. bacon flavor. What do you think? They're eating it. It kind of smells like a Fig Newton. It kind of oh, looks yeah. like a Fig Newton. I think she approves. I think she likes it, yeah. She's oh, eating it. Too. Bella's eating it too. Okay, puppies approved. Good morning, everybody. Okay, we're gonna try some of these snacks now. Figured since it's the morning and didn't get a chance to really try much of anything yesterday. Um, let's start with some of these uh, breakfast breakfast food items. So I grabbed the pumpkin O's. 
And uh, it basically just says toasted whole grain cereal with brown rice, oats, and pumpkin. So sounds overall, you know, pretty standard. But uh, I do like Trader Joe's cereals. I've, I've had them in the past, so I think that that's going to be pretty good. And also I thought we would try right off the bat these gluten-free pumpkin streusel muffins, which look so dang good. And, um, oh, by the way, these are gluten-free and the pumpkin O's are gluten-free too. So that's something to, to keep in mind. So, okay, let's, let's try some of these. Okay, I have my snacks. So I went ahead and put the pumpkin O's inside of one of my little cauldron bowls here. These are really good. Okay, these are really good. They're actually a lot sweeter than I thought that they would be. And I don't really taste pumpkin, but that's not a surprise. I never really, pumpkin's such a subtle flavor. It's really the pumpkin spice that we all taste when like things are flavored pumpkin wise. Um, so I'm not surprised. These are good. Obviously I don't have any milk in here. I'm not eating it like normal people eat cereal, but we'll do that at some point. And then I also went ahead and cut one of those muffins in half here. So we'll give this a shot. Oh man. Just so good. I knew that that was gonna be really, really good. And guess what? It is. So it's, um, shoot, I forget what they were called, but they're like a streusel -y kind of uh, muffin. And you can definitely taste that. It's very sweet. It's got like the crumbly stuff on the, on the top there, like a streusel thing normally would. Uh, this is great for breakfast. Man, that's like one of my favorite things for breakfast. I love a good muffin and I love some coffee to go along with it. So it's super good. I would definitely get these again for sure. Uh, very cinnamony, very um, spiced, I guess is the word. I don't know. I'm not a food vlogger, obviously, clearly. Um, so I'm going to do my best with these descriptions, but... You know, it's actually, honestly, I say this and then you're all going to be like, why the heck did you do this in the first place? But um, one of my pet peeves is actually when people describe food. Like, I just think, I don't know why, but it just, it annoys me for some reason. So I'm like kind of annoying myself by describing food. So this isn't necessarily like a straight up like food review sort of thing. Um, if that's what you're looking for, I'm sure there's a lot of other videos out there, but this is just kind of more of like, I wonder if this tastes good or not, you know, sort of thing. So I will do my best, but, uh, yeah, no promises on, on, on the quality of the tasting here on out. Uh, but so far, all that being said, these two items, the cereal and the muffin, 10 out of 10 would absolutely eat again and I'm looking forward to eating the rest of it and i um, so glad that I have help here too to help me eat some of this and I'm not just talking about the humans in here but the two little doggos that are hovering around my feet. Another item that I got is the non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage. I'm gonna use this as a creamer for my coffee so I'm gonna give this sh uh, a shot now as well. I'm gonna put in a decent amount. Since it's not technically creamer, it's like basically an alternative milk that is flavored with pumpkin. It is definitely orange, so that's a good sign. It does actually have pumpkin puree in there. Like I said, it was, it's, it was orange, so um, I know that it's actually pumpkin and not just like pumpkin spice or like pumpkin flavoring or whatever it is. 
So it tastes more natural and less like artificial, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's really good. You can definitely taste uh, the pumpkin in there. So that's a thumbs up. Okay, it is now later in the day and I think I am ready to try some more snacks here. I think these two things here are like my most anticipated ones out of everything that we picked out. And it's basically just because it's snack food, it's junk food, and I'm a sucker, what can I say? Actually, a lot of stuff that we that we got, a lot of stuff that they had was like more on the desserts side of thing as opposed to the savory side of things. Um, but regardless, just, a, just an observation there. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try the goats, the goats, the ghosts and bats crispy potato snacks. So adorable. I have a feeling these are basically just gonna taste like regular old potato chips, and I'm not mad about that. Okay, so they are shaped, they are actually shaped like little bats. There's the potato chip. Yep, it tastes like a potato chip. But it's really, really good. Like you can tell, I'm gonna assume that these are like baked. Um, and probably I could only assume maybe a little bit healthier than like normal potato chips, like Lay's or Ruffles or whatever. Cause they don't taste super um, oily, which is my big problem with a lot of these potato chips. Okay. Here's the ghost. There's the bat. Bats have little things, little ears. The other thing that I think I'm anticipating the most out of it all, Halloween Jojo cookie sandwich uh, snacks here. These are so adorable. Now we did also see the uh, pumpkin flavored ones, which Tampa J at least said, so I don't know. Tampa J said that those are kind of more well-known kind of more of like the thing to get but these are adorable little jack-o-lantern cookies here it's halloween themed um chocolate vanilla bean cream basically oreos but probably a thousand times better because it's trader joe's look how adorable this little guy is so cute, I almost hate to eat them. And yes, the inside is orange. That is good. Definitely better than Oreos. No shade to Oreos, no shade to Lay's, no shade to Ruffles. Sorry, but this is Trader Joe's we're talking about here. Definitely a lot better, a lot more like chocolatier. Again, it's not like that processed food taste or like when you just eat like stuff like this, like you just taste salt, you just taste sugar, you just taste like all of those. It's not like that. You actually taste like the flavors that they're supposed to be. Like these actually taste like potatoes and these actually taste like chocolate. Real good. Highly recommend Everything we've tried so far, highly recommend. Okay, we are now on day three of Trader Joe's tasting extravaganza, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna dive into my next snack here. And I went ahead and grabbed the Trader Joe's Harvest Blend Herbal Tea, caffeine free. I love a little fox there with his little tea. It's gonna be me in just a second. The noise that you hear is definitely, it's a, uh, it's my electric tea kettle going there. All right, the water has boiled over and we're going to give this a shot for the first time. I kind of, um, I wanted a little bit of a pick me up even though this is caffeine free, so it's not really gonna pick me up that much. But uh, I love me some good old tea and this sounds delicious. So 
All it says on here is harvest blend herbal tea. Like, what does that even mean? Um, and according to this, it is cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, cinnamon and apple flavors, chamomile, roasted chicory, and orange peel, which sounds delicious. I love all of those, especially in tea form. So opening up the box here, it has a bunch of individual packets and none of the uh, the little string version of tea bags. It's like the little, little packet form. You always gotta smell the tea. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. This smells like a cinnamon broom. This smells like fall incarnate, like in a tea bag. So I'm very pleased about this. Now I'm going to just stick it in my mug and pour the tea or the hot water to make it to tea. I don't usually add in milk or honey or anything like that. Typically, this is just how I drink it. I let it steep in there for a while and then I just drink it like that. Um, occasionally I'll put milk in there or uh, creamer or honey or I don't know, various other things. Sometimes I will get fancy with it, but for the most part, 80% of the time I would say, just drink it just like this. So I'm gonna let that cool down and then we're gonna give it a try. I've been smelling it. as so I've been waiting for it to, to cool down. It's been sitting like right here in front of me and it smells so good. It smells very, very apple-y, kind of like a hot apple cider sort of deal. Yep, that's what it tastes like. Tastes very good. This is fall in a cup for sure. Um, yeah, it kind of tastes like a like an apple cider sort of situation. Very very cinnamony. Um, and but I I love that there is chamomile in here. Chamomile is my favorite tea probably of all time. Um, there's ginger in there too, which is pretty strong. And yeah, like seriously, it has like all of my favorite flavors ever. And uh, this is gonna be a good like anti-anxiety tea, um, anti-stress tea, it's good for your tummy. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to try, I got the organic fall zucchetti. I think that's how that's pronounced. If it's not, someone will let me know. Zucchetti pasta, it's a butternut squash pasta. This is just the, the topper for the bag because I already cut open the bag and then threw this away and then took this out of the garbage so I could show you. But anyway, here is the pasta. It is a bright orange color. Uh, definitely, they definitely used butternut squash in there. And um, all I did, I already cooked it and all I did was just throw in some olive oil and some salt and pepper, which is some Sometimes how I like to eat pasta. I made it this way so we could hopefully like taste the pasta as opposed to like a marinara sauce or whatever over top of it and which which would kind of mask the the pasta taste. So I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot. Good. It tastes like pasta, all right. Yeah. Honestly, I don't really taste I don't really taste anything but pasta. And now a heck of a lot of pepper because I just threw on like all the pepper. But it's good. And it's pretty. I think that's the most important thing. I do think that you could do a lot of creative things with this pasta though, because of the shape of it all. Cause there's like it it has like this pocket in the middle here. Like it's just it's a really fun shape. So you could probably put all kinds of I don't know, cheese or sauce or whatever in here. It's just, it, I don't know. It looks really pretty. I'm sure there's a lot of fun, creative things that you could do with this pasta. My brother, who is a chef, probably has a thousand ideas, but me as a plebeian who just simply wants to eat pasta, this is the best I could do. You ready to try some snacks with me? Oh, I was born ready. Okay. My middle name's Hungry. Did you know that? <laughs> We're gonna start with the spiced cider 
This is one of the things that I grabbed, obviously. And I'm pretty sure I've had this before. I've, I love apple cider. I've never had spice cider, though. Yeah, it's always... This is water, by the way. Good. I've never had one that I didn't like. They say that this can be served hot or cold. Right now, it's been sitting in our fridge, so it's cold. I prefer but you can do cider. It hot. Either way. Either way? I was going to say, I'm more used to it being uh, cold because I live in Florida. Yeah. Growing up in Indiana, when we had the bonfires, we made it nice and warm. Okay. You got a Sir Henry's cup. I sure do. You mm -hmm. got a Colgan cup. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Spice cider. Mmm. It's good. It's, it's cider with cinnamon. Yep. It tastes like apple cider, all right. Um, not artificial tasting, just, you know, apple cider. I don't know. I'm not an apple cider connoisseur or expert or anything like that, so I can't... It tastes like apple cider and someone put like a cinnamon stick in it. It's good. Pretty much, yeah. And thank you so much to Russell for this video's coffee and or mug full of apple cider. Really appreciate you, bud. Cheers. Hope you enjoy this one. Happy Halloween. Thanks for supporting the channel. Okay, we have drinks, so let's let's eat the thing that is gonna actually melt, yes. which is to say these tiny little oh, no. ice we have cream to? cones. I know, everybody in this household right now is very excited for these little ice cream cones. They look adorable. So these are pumpkin ginger ice cream cones. The ice cream is a pumpkin ice cream. There's a white coating, like confectionery coating over the top. And then the cone part is ginger. So I, like I already it. opened the box, it but um, they are so cute and tiny. They are indeed mini cones, which is very nice. So you don't have to eat like a ton of ice cream if you're not a huge ice cream person like I am. Well, I'll eat one. They're small. No, I meant for me. They're small. Okay. We'll give them a shot. They're cute. Okay. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. So, pumpkin ice cream. Pumpkin ice cream. The ginger is mostly the frosting, I think. The ginger really is the cone. Yeah, the cone? Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. The cone is not um, crunchy. It's like chewy. Yep. Um, yeah, wow, Reminds that's really stick. good. Yeah. Really, really good. Once again, I think I've said this pretty much about all of the stuff that we've tried so far, but it's not artificial tasting to me. Like it actually tastes like pumpkin to me. Um, okay, so I only have three more items left here to try. I am most eager for actually all of these. I'm so excited. Um, but I think I'm most eager for these because I really want you to try so these. So gummy bears, gummy worms, and then gummy is my favorite candy. So I am mm -hmm. most looking forward to that. Spooky Bats and Cats Sour Gummy Candies. These are also gluten-free, by the way. I think this is a kitty cat. See that? I think this is... Yeah. A ghost. And like maybe grape flavor. I guess. It's hard to say. <laughs> it's all I can. All right. Oh, man, that was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's actually a lot more sour than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely great. Mm-hmm. Let me try the orange. Mine is definitely lime. So there's three colors, three flavors. There's a grape, um, a green one, and then an orange one. How did you like the orange? I, like, I think I like the orange the best. Yeah? But I need to try a green. I don't know. Ooh, yeah, orange is good. Mm. Okay, next up we're going to try these maple marshmallows. Mini maple flavored marshmallows. marshmallows. So, 
Again, very excited about these. Um, just taking a look at the ingredients in here. Ah, Gluten-free and vegan. Fun fact, marshmallows are not vegan. They're made from hooves, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, so just something to keep in mind. But Trader Joe's, they're, uh, they're mini marshmallows I didn't here. know that, you just taught me something. Are, uh, are vegan and gluten-free, so. Imagine so. how many hooves it took to make the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Yep. I love marshmallows. Me too. Yeah, you, it's very subtle, but you can... Yeah, mm. you, can, you can taste the maple. Yeah, these are like candy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Obviously like great in a hot cocoa or whatever you use you put them marshmallows on for. Top put them of in pancakes. Your... Oh, yeah, true. All right, and last but not least, we have... Petite pumpkin spiced cookies. So these are shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. Sounds and they, yeah, I love shortbread cookies. I love cookies that have like the icing over the top on them. So I have high expectations. Sprinkles on them, bunch of different pumpkin shapes and colors. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, these are surprisingly great. Might be my favorite thing we've tried. I agree. Yeah. And everything that we tried. Good mix of... Um, Excellent. But these, holy moly, I could eat this entire box right now. This is excellent, excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything that we have tried has been... Super good, um, and I do think, weirdly enough, the last thing, um, the last thing that we tried here is probably gonna be my favorite. But honestly, is it accidentally save the best for last? Yeah, yeah, I did not mean to mm. do that. Um, so yeah, but like I said, everything has been super good. Um, what is what was your favorite? That this yeah. Like, truly yeah yeah okay the uh, ice cream was. Up there, though. That was really good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope that, you, <laughs> hope that you all enjoyed this video. Very different video from what I've ever done before. Um, I have a lot more. of uh, other ideas for things that we can do along these lines. Um, if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and also, if you give the video a thumbs up, Thanks that for helps me out a lot. If you subscribe to the channel, we got a lot of different kinds of videos on here. Uh, so check all of that out and of course I appreciate that too. Um, and Tampa J has a channel as well. Yes, not I do. filming <laughs> this weird experience, uh, but films a lot of other weird ex experiences. I so. did this once with hot sauce, but that was a long did time you? ago. Okay. Yeah, I don't even think I think I deleted that. Okay. No, yeah. it was a live stream actually. I think I know what you're talking about, and I think that's definitely still on the channel. Just, just so you know. Don't watch that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll put a link uh, to your channel down down below here for you. Um, Thank you. And yeah, I this was a lot of fun. I had fun with this. It's maybe a little bit dangerous because really and truly, every, once again, like I can't say this enough. Everything that we had was really good. And now I'm going to be like next year and the year after that and the year after that. Oh, well, we got to get all of our our two bags full of Trader Joe's stuff for the fall. Um, it's funny because we used to live like two blocks away from a Trader Joe's. Yeah. And we never went. Nope. And now it's it's a lot farther. Yeah. And we, uh, we, go we really like Trader Joe's. <laughs> My parents really like Trader Joe's too. Um, this video is not sponsored by them, by the way. I should have said that at the beginning. Not um, that TJ's. Not that TJ's, but anyway, we've ran all long enough. Thank you all again for watching the video, as I said. And um, yeah, got a lot of stuff coming up here really, really soon. So thanks all for watching. Happy Halloween. Happy snacking. Happy Halloween. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody. Let's go Happy. make dinner. Yeah, I know. We're, we're going to make dinner now. <laughs>